A circuit breaker is a switch. It has to be reset manually and it breaks the circuit, opens the circuit by flipping and then you have to flip it back in case the circuit is overloaded it flips. How it works, most of them have some kind of plastic housing like this. I'm gonna take it apart in a sec and uh, with different tabs and contact points so uh, you it snaps onto a rail somewhere and uh, and connects to some kind of electrical contact point there that also snaps around it there and, 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 and holds it in place firmly. They don't come apart like this. You can see I put this one back together with a bolt so I can show you what's inside. They are all rated. Let's, see. Let's read this label a little bit. And, okay, just give me a sec. There we have it. And you can see 120 slash 240 on it. One pole. Okay, you, you can't see the P, you can just see one ole. Okay, that says one pole. A single pole, what that is. And it says CU minus AL. Copper aluminum construction inside. 40 degrees is a, a uh, at the point when it uh, opens the circuit and there's a manufacturer and that's pretty much all you need to know okay it works with heat and the components inside are sized in such a manner that when too much uh, current too many electrons try to rush through this thing then the components heat up and through some clever leverage uh, the circuit is opened. So, uh, the wires, it's got two points of contact for a wire. A single wire goes in here and it, the elect an electricity goes in through here and then goes out the other way. Okay, so there, single pole. One piece of single wire, black, in North America. Alright, I'll take it apart for you. Just give me Good morning, just give me a sec here, and I can take it apart, once I take it apart, it's, it, it kind of falls apart, it's got springs and stuff inside, okay, so, that, that, oh, that's how it looks like, there goes the springs, alright, so, how this works again is, the wire is plugged in here and is tightened with this thumb screw, you can see a contact point there that's either open or closed. If it's closed, then electricity goes through it, through that wire and down to this terminal on the lower end of things. And yes, the spring that immediately jumped out from it is in there. And let me just leave the spring out, okay? So it's easier for me to put it together. Just give me a sec. And this one lives here, there, so that would be closed. Okay, just imagine the spring is there, that would be open. Okay, you kind of get the idea. Yeah, just, just, just imagine the spring is there. Okay, and that's how it reset and it opens or closes. So what happens is, again, when uh, too many electrons try to rush through this component here, this one here, this copper aluminum sandwich, that's here at the top, just there we have it. It heats up. Copper and aluminum are dissimilar metals, so they expand at a different rate. That's how these things work. And uh, and as they and as they pride ex expand and pry themselves apart, they they snap and they open the circuit and that's it. So for this to work an overload has to be there and it and these pieces need to heat up for a hundredth of a second a thousandth of a second something like that that's how sensitive they are it's carefully calibrated so so that's what's inside the breaker and that's how it works